tennis, anyone? Steve Hartman takes us to the U.S. Imitational on the road. For as long as he can remember, Mark Kuhn has been riding a tractor at the family farm in Charles City, Iowa, which is why, as a kid, whenever Mark wanted to see beyond the soybeans, he'd go to his grandpa's house, where the old man would take him on exotic adventures. He introduced me to his shortwave radio, and he took me all places all over the world. Labor chases his back, plays a beautiful backhand on the line. Including England, where one day they stumbled on a BBC broadcast of the championship's Wimbledon. For Mark, it was instantly game, set, match. What did you like about it? Well, the accent was neat. The accent? Yes, and, and we quickly got into the way the score. We didn't understand it. Why did it go to 15 and then 30 and then 40, you know, and love? It was the beginning of what became a lifelong obsession with Wimbledon. Of course, a lot of people like Wimbledon and grass court tennis. But what makes Mark outstanding in this field is what is now outstanding in his field. What was formerly a cattle feedlot is now the All Iowa Lawn Tennis Club, a replica of Wimbledon's center court. It took Mark a year and a half to build it. Then he learned to maintain it during an internship with the Wimbledon ground staff. And that's all he wanted, just to grow and groom the grass, which is why Mark was as surprised as anyone. When after he built it, they came. From around the world, they came to play on his court of dreams. These kids are from Iowa and Minnesota, here to compete in an invitational tournament. And that's umpire Baron Wittet, also from Minnesota. And when I found that there's a place in the middle of Iowa in a cornfield, it's like, get in the car, <laughs> you know? So I came down as fast as I could. What happens when you build it and they do come? Well, they'll come from anywhere and everywhere, and they'll come at all times of the night. Does it make you wish you hadn't built it? Never. No. Hey, Great to have you play here. You're very welcome. Nice Mark you. lets people play for free with a reservation. And so far, tennis fans from 42 states and six countries have made the pilgrimage to this tennis heaven here amongst the Iowa cornfields. There you go, in the middle, way to be. What would your grandpa think if he saw that? Oh, he'd be very pleased. I know he would. How could he not be? And certainly, if there are ham radios in heaven, you know he's listening. Steve Hartman, on the road, in Charles City, Iowa.